Hello, Dallas Cowboys fans. Today we have exciting news that could have a major impact on the Cowboys offense for the 2024 season. Let's talk about Jake Ferguson, a tight end who might become a key piece for the team. Get ready to learn all the details. When we think of the Dallas Cowboys, our minds often go to the big stars, Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb, and Micah Parsons. These players have been central to many conversations about the team, especially regarding their contracts and the complex negotiations with Jerry Jones. However, there's another player starting to gain attention who could play a crucial role in the Cowboys' offense. We're talking about Jake Ferguson. Ferguson, who joined the Cowboys as a fourth-round pick in the 2022 draft, has begun to make a name for himself in the NFL. Although his name isn't the first that comes to mind when thinking about the team's stars, Ferguson has been earning accolades that place him in a prominent position for the upcoming season. According to Ari Merov of the 33rd team, Ferguson is considered one of the players to watch for the Cowboys in 2024. So, why is Jake Ferguson so important? Let's break it down. Last season, Ferguson had an outstanding performance. He played all the games, which is a significant achievement, and ended with 71 receptions for 761 yards and 5 touchdowns. This performance not only earned him a Pro Bowl selection, but also positioned him as one of the most promising tight ends in the league. His progress since his rookie season has been remarkable, and his impact on the Cowboys' offense has not gone unnoticed. What really puts Ferguson in the spotlight is his versatility. According to Merev, the Cowboys plan to move Ferguson around different positions on the offense, making him an even more dynamic option. This flexibility could be crucial, especially given the current focus on renewing the contracts of Prescott, Lamb, and Parsons. If Ferguson continues to perform at the level he did last year, it wouldn't be surprising to see him commanding a record-setting contract for tight ends in the near future. In his rookie season, Ferguson had a relatively limited role, with only 19 receptions for 174 yards and a couple of touchdowns. However, the leap he made in 2023 demonstrates his ability to grow and adapt to the team's needs. Now, with limited depth in the receiver group and the disappointing performance of Brandon Cooks in 2023, Ferguson might have an even greater opportunity to shine. The lack of proven options on the team, especially behind C.D. Lamb, makes Ferguson an increasingly attractive option for the Cowboys. If the team's running game turns out to be weak or uninspiring, Ferguson could become the go-to choice for short yardage situations and crucial moments during games. Last season, Ferguson was targeted on 102 passes, second on the team only to Lamb. It's highly likely we'll see an increase in that number in 2024, indicating an even more prominent role for him in the offense. So, fans, keep a close eye on Jake Ferguson as the team prepares for their first preseason game against the Los Angeles Rams this Sunday. This could be the start of a truly stellar season for Ferguson, and we want you to catch every moment of his development. Get ready for some news that's making waves and could take our excitement for the team to a whole new level. Cowboys defensive run game coordinator, Paul Gunter, has revealed something that could change the way we see Micah Parsons on the field. Gunter has made it clear that he has big plans for Parsons, moving him all over the field and using him as a sort of chess piece. The idea is to use him in different defensive roles, from edge rusher to linebacker, and even in coverage. This approach not only aims to maximize Parsons' impact, but also to deceive opponents by concealing the team's true defensive intentions and helping his teammates make key plays. But here's where it gets really exciting. There's been talk of using Parsons on offense. While Gunter didn't detail a specific plan for this move, a recent practice gave us a glimpse of what could be. Last Friday, Parsons surprised everyone by playing running back. In a play that left everyone astonished, Parsons caught a pass from backup quarterback Cooper Rush and powered through a gap on the left side of the offensive line with impressive strength and speed. This move is even more striking considering Parsons' history. While the idea of moving a linebacker, especially one as crucial to the defense as Parsons, to an offensive position might seem unusual, Parsons has a special background. 
During his time at Harrisburg High School in Pennsylvania, Parsons excelled as a running back, amassing 1,239 yards and 27 touchdowns. Yes, you read that right. This background shows he has significant experience in the position, adding an extra layer of intrigue to this possibility. With his impressive 6 feet 3 inches height and 245 pounds, Parsons wouldn't just be one of the most powerful running backs in the NFL, but also one of the fastest. At his pro day in 2021, Parsons ran the 40-yard dash in an astonishing 4.36 seconds. This kind of speed combined with his physical strength could make him a formidable threat on the field, potentially even surpassing some of the running backs currently on the Cowboys roster. Imagine seeing him in an offensive play as a surprise tactic during a game. While we'll likely see him back in his natural position, where he remains a nightmare for opposing offenses, the idea of using Parsons on offense is undoubtedly an exciting and creative proposal that could add an element of surprise to the Cowboys' game plan. What do you think about this idea? Would you like to see Micah Parsons in a new role on the field? Let us know your thoughts. The Dallas Cowboys have made a surprising trade with the Minnesota Vikings. The news is that cornerback Nash and Wright is heading to Minnesota in exchange for cornerback Andrew Booth. According to NFL Network's Tom Pelissero, the trade is pending physicals. Wright, who had a season with five combined tackles in 12 games with the Cowboys, will be replaced by Booth, who recorded eight tackles in 17 games with the Vikings. Both players were listed as backups on their team's unofficial depth charts. With this move, the Cowboys' salary cap for 2024 will increase by $400,000, while the Vikings' cap will decrease by the same amount. On the Vikings' depth chart, Booth was behind starters Shaq Griffin and Byron Murphy Jr., as well as backups of Caleb Evans and Fabian Moreau. Meanwhile, Wright was listed as a backup behind Trayvon Diggs, Jordan Lewis, and Darren Bland with the Cowboys. Wright, who was drafted by Dallas in the third round of the 2021 NFL Draft, is the second top 100 pick from that draft to be traded by the Cowboys. Last year, Kelvin Joseph, the 44th pick, was traded to the Miami Dolphins. Now, Wright will join his cousin Makai Blackman in Minnesota, although Blackman is out for the entire 2023 season due to an ACL injury. Wright could be key in filling the void left by Blackman. On the other hand, Booth, who was selected in the second round by the Vikings in the 2022 draft, had a rookie season impacted by injuries and struggled to move up the depth chart in Minnesota. However, he might have a fresh opportunity in Dallas working with defensive backs coach Al Harris, known for developing Trayvon Diggs into a Cowboys star. It is still unclear whether Wright or Booth will be available for their new team's preseason games. The Vikings will open the preseason on Saturday against the Las Vegas Raiders, while the Cowboys will face the Los Angeles Rams on Sunday. What do you think of this trade? Do you believe it will be beneficial for both teams? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more updates.